What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to share with you guys a little bit of a guide that I've set up for the new Star Seal system in the new Star Expedition Guild Mode, because this is a lot to it. So being able to look at it now, break it down, figure out which ones are your favorite and the ones you want to try to build, because different combos of these prefixes and suffixes will be better for certain heroes. So I wanted to give you guys some time to look at it now. We don't know if this is everything, because we don't have the data mine info, and... There are some special seals as well that we only have one of and we don't know if there's more of those either. So let's break it down. Let's go over it first. Let's talk about what I'm talking about for those who missed it. So first up, what are we talking about? In case you missed all the new Star Expedition things we've been talking about this week, again, this is on the Tap Tap test server only. You will not see this on Android and iOS yet, but the brand new guild mode in your guild is Star Expedition. And as you go through fights and you beat enemies, each enemy will have a chance to drop this question mark. Well, those question marks are star seals. There's a whole different combination of them. There's these special ones that are one set bonuses. There's other ones that have two and four set bonuses. So what are all of the and what combos can you do? That's what we're going to go over today. Before we jump to the infographic, I want to let you guys know the most you can actually have for any type of setup is one four set of either a prefix or a suffix. It doesn't matter, but you can only manage to get one of them. And you can have up to three two set bonuses as well, because once you have the four set matched up, you notice all these spiky ones just to go over in layman's terms. These ones that have the spikes, we have four of that that matches that up in reality. You can then also get two more sets right here. So we have one right here. The the greens going back and forth. If I was to drop the interweave, we can get another one like a destiny suffix that would give us a bonus of 12 percent attack. So. Let's jump to the let's jump to the infographic. It's a lot of information. I'm going to post a link to the infographic directly in the comments down below or either actually I'll put it the first thing in the description of this YouTube video if you want to check it out, download it and look for look at it for yourself. But let's get into it. All right, so this is the nice little infographic I had. It's a little cluttered and everything. I just wanted to get the raw data out there. I tried to put some icons next to them to make it a little bit easier for you to understand. But let's first talk about the prefixes. So let's jump on over here. Let's take a look at the prefix list that we have. Sorry that like it's not exactly fitting on the screen the best. I guess I could probably just expand this down a little bit just to give you guys a little bit better of a view here. And we can just bump it down. There we go. We'll do something like this. There we go. All right. So the first one is Boolean. So these are really weird. It has this uh, this kind of circular with inner spikes on it again when you get it yourself you can zoom in a little better so the two set is plus attack that one is solid the four set bonus is according to the number of rounds different builds will be obtained or sorry different buffs will be obtained which last until the end of that round so they only last one round if the number of rounds is odd the attack is increased by 50 percent and the sacred damage is increased by 50 i don't know what sacred damage is or if it's a translation issue, so we'll have to wait until it comes out on live. If the number of rounds are even, the energy is increased by 50 points and the critical strike rate is increased by 50 points. That one's okay. I'm not a big fan of Boolean, but again, it really comes down to what allies you have on the battlefield. Now, the next one is one of my favorite, Carl. It gives you 10% crit chance, which is important because the final boss actually has an active ability that lowers your crit chance by 75%. So this one is pretty solid. Um, but again, it might need more crit chance and very high crit chance heroes to make it work. Four set bonus is damage to targets with bleeding effects is increased by 50%. So if you're already using like a Scarlet Queen Halora, the active ability from her is going to put a bleed on everybody. After, but in case you don't have a bleed after a normal or active skill causes a critical strike an additional 300 percent bleed damage will be caused to all enemies so that's going to put a bleed on there for whoever they hit and then they'll also be taking 50 percent more damage it's a little bit more situational it does require you to get some crits off it's okay but it's not it's not horrible uh, Gris is the next one. Two set, 20% armor break. Not the most important, especially if you're using like a Drake in your lineup. 
but the force set is after casting a normal or active skill if the target has a stun petrification or freezing effect an additional 200 percent poisoning and bleeding damage will be applied to the targets for two rounds so if you're using an energy feed setup and you're feeding all of this energy to your jara might not be bad because she's going to be petrifying and freezing a lot of targets uh if the target has a bleeding or poisoning effect, which is going to be applied from that, or, you know, again, Scarlet Queen Halora, then total damage will be increased by 15% for two rounds and have a 10% chance to stun the target for one round. So an additional CC effect. So if you're going in for the Jara mode with like energy feed Jara and Scarlet Queen, this could be a really good one. Gris is actually not that bad. It's just the armor breaks the one thing that doesn't feel that great. Next up is Osis. Two, per two set... 30 precision I mean, it's, it's all right it's not great but the force set is when a character dies on the battlefield increases the attack power of all friendly heroes by 10 percent increases the sacred damage by 10 percent increases the total damage which i feel like is probably like all damage something like that and increased critical strike by 20 percent for 15 rounds so if you are on an early game account and you only have a couple e5 heroes this one might be good to pick up because if you have three or four of your lower heroes, because they don't have to be 10 stars or above to use them, you can use all your heroes in this game mode. Uh, it might be worthwhile because that's going to give a ton of damage buffs and critical strike buffs to your like one or two carry heroes. So early game, Osis is going to be a great one to have for your account and go for the set bonus, the four set bonus. Next up, we have Cause. So, Cause is a two set of eight holy damage. Again, not that great. Four set at the beginning of each round. Remove all control effects on oneself. So, if you're going to get something with tons of control effects, this is pretty good with Purify. Each time a control effect is removed, 5% of one's maximum health will be restored and one's own attack will be increased by 25%. A good utility. So, if you do get some good Cause runes or uh, seals here, it could be pretty good. And the last one is Narn. So let me move myself actually now because I'm going to be in the way. So Narn, this is another one I like. 25% crit damage is a two set bonus. The four set is after performing normal and gaining active skills. You gain a shield of 20% of your maximum health and at the same time increases your critical strike damage by 100%, increases your critical strike rate by 50%, and increases your attack by 15 I love that. That on like a penny or something like that is a really, 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 really good synergy. I absolutely love it. Let me do this here. Let me flip myself around. Let me draw. Oh, not that one. Let's not move that one around. Let me get my image here. Stupid OBS. I'm sorry. So professional. All right, let's go over to the suffixes now. So again, you can only have one four set total it can either be a prefix or a suffix because every seal you have has a prefix and a suffix on it foresight two set bonus 25 percent crit damage i like that for set bonus is after casting a normal attack its total damage increases by three or 30 percent for 15 rounds i like that and its energy increases by 30 points after casting active skills its critical strike rate is increased by 30 percent, and its critical strike damage is increased by 100 i really like the four set bonus the four set the foresight four set bonus it's a little tongue twister there is a really good one in my opinion peaceful is going to give 10 percent crit four set bonus is after your hero casts a normal attack all allies have 50% chance of increasing energy by 20 points, and there's a 25% chance to increase an additional. So, this is essentially Demon Bell feed, but for basic attacks. Could be good. We'll just have to see what heroes really work with it. Peaceful has some promise. Persuade is the next suffix. Two set bonus, 8% holy damage. Again, not that great, but... Oh, I just realized we're, we're a little off screen here. Let me... Let me shift this over a bit so you can see all the verbiage there. There we go. All right, persuade. Four set. At the beginning of battle, self-attack increases by 30%. Energy is increased by 50 And corresponding additional buffs will happen. So this is only at the beginning of combat. But it's going to give everybody an active in round one. Assassins gain critical strike chance by 50%. Warriors get block increased by 30% and increased attack by 10%. Mage skills damage is increased by 30%. Rangers total damage is increased by 30%. And priest holy damage is increased by 20%. So not too bad. It's not one of my favorites. I don't think persuade is very good. Destiny is the next one. Two set bonus. 12% attack. 
For a set bonus, the following effects are triggered at the beginning of every round, and each effect is calculated independently. So you could get all of them, you could get none of them. So there's a 30% chance for each one of these, but there's a 30% chance that the attack will be increased by 30% for one round. There's a 30% chance that skill damage will be increased by 30 damage, critical strike by 80%, and a chance to stun yourself. So there's a backfire aspect of this. I don't like Destiny. Destiny's not that great in my opinion. Now the last one we have information on is a special. Let me now move myself one more time. I'm gonna put myself up the top now. So these are special ones we found. They are a one set bonus. I've only found one of them yet and that is Interweave. It's a four star, so it does give you more raw stats as well. But the one set bonus just having this one item in is when an allied hero performs a normal attack, there is a 20% chance that all allied heroes will be restored 30 points of energy. When an allied hero is attacked, there is a 20% chance that hero's attack power will be increased by 20. So it's very similar to peaceful, except you only need one piece to make this work and you have a way to buff yourself up damage wise. So kind of interesting. What do you guys think though? These are all the star seals that we have access to right now. All the information we have kind of hard to fit this all on the screen once again, but uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. If you guys want to take a look and see what you think about the info we have right now, I like this system. It reminds me of like MMOs and stuff like that. You can get as in depth if you want in this or as little as possible, but just remember you can have one four set bonus and up to three, two set bonuses or of course fewer if you use one of the specials. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully it helps you guys out. If we get more information, we will update it and post again. I'll see you guys next time.